Well, the new study shows parts of western Washington could start seeing twice as many hot days over the next several decades. A New York based research group found in the next 30 years, King, Pierce and Snohomish counties could go from an average of three days a year above 90 degrees to an average of eight days a year above 90 degrees. The National Weather Service says Seattle has already hit 90 degrees 10 times this year. So more hot temperatures are ahead of us tomorrow and Thursday. Thursday. Let's go back to Stephen Kilbreth, who's in for weather today. We already talked about how much I dislike 90 right. degree temperatures. So for I'm like, sure. man, we're already breaking records this season, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, and it's interesting. I was talking to Christopher Nunley before the show today, and we were talking about how in the 40s and 50s, uh, they have stats about how many 90 degree days there were, and there's like one or two each year, and then now we're seeing 10 and 11 and possibly uh, 12 uh, days. So again, we have 10 that have been above 90 so far in 2022, and we could see one on Thursday as well. But let's take a look at Granite Falls right now, only 76 degrees, but they're going to climb up into the mid 80s today. Winds are calm there right now in Seattle. We are at 69 degrees. Winds calm there as well, but certainly going to see some sunshine and some uh, heat being turned on a little bit today. We're going to be in the low 80s uh, most around the northwest today. 81 for Snoqualmie, as you can see here with some sunshine. We take a look at Paul's Bowl. You'll even get up to 80 degrees today a little bit later on. The coast today, 68 to 76 degrees. We have uh, mostly sunny skies. Sunset out there at 824. If you're in the east slopes of the Cascades, uh, like Winthrop, or uh, Chelan, Wenatchee, Ellensburg, places like that, 88 to 94 degrees and sunny and continued hot there. Our almanac looks like this. We did get to 84 degrees yesterday, so it might be a degree or two cooler today. The average is 78, the record high back in 2010 when it hit 96 degrees on this day. And for those of you who are waiting for the fall, are you waiting for fall? 37 days until we hit fall. That'll happen on September 22nd when our sunrise is just before 7 a.m. and sunset just after 7 p.m. Your weekend forecast as we take a look ahead here, 82 on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, so pretty consistent. But what's happening on Thursday is we are going to have that day in the 90s. Let's take a look at the wildfire smoke uh, for the next couple of days as well. Should stay clear of the Puget Sound region, uh, staying mainly in central and eastern Washington until we do get to Thursday when we could see some of that creep in over into western Washington. Here's our watches and warnings as we highlight them for you. The heat advisory from noon on Wednesday uh, through Friday, and then we have the excessive heat warning in the uh, central Cascades and as you make your way towards uh, the areas of um, east, eastern foothills communities like Snoqualmie, North Bend, Snoqualmie Valley, places like that and even a little further south we do have that excessive heat warning. Today's forecast did high for the nation. Portland will be at 90 degrees, Phoenix at 103. We have 100 in Dallas, 81 in Washington, D.C. and just a pleasant and nearly perfect 83 degrees for Seattle. Let's take a look at our extended forecast for you. The seven day forecast mostly sunny today and a high of 83. We turn the heat on a little bit tomorrow. We get hotter and 88 sunny and hot on Thursday and 92. Then we start to see a little marine layer come in each of the mornings, which will start to keep things a little bit cooler, but we'll still be in the 80s as you can see as we head into the early part of next week. And then we take a look at the days after this Tuesday. We do warm back up Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We get back into the mid 80s as we take a look into the next week as we uh, it's going to we're going to be hot here for a while, at least over 80 degrees.